It just won't happen. You wouldn't do it. Like, we wouldn't have somebody over for dinner and cut them up and cook them. <laughs> we wouldn't do it. Well, that was a consciousness back here, you know. That, that was actually acceptable behavior back here, cannibalism. It's just not anymore because of this evolution. And that the whole idea of having power over somebody else is going to be as abhorrent as having them over for dinner and cooking them. <laughs> just wouldn't happen. And it's nothing that we have to do to each other or for ourselves. Nothing we have to do about this except be aware of it, pay attention, get your intent together, keep your integrity intact, and ride your intuition. And it doesn't cost anything to do that. And you don't have to follow my words or anybody else's about how it gets done. Yeah. Okay, so within the process, you said allow everything to happen, good or bad. Mm. The thing mm -hmm. about keeping our integrity is there's gonna, there has to be resistance to keep your integrity to a way say, you know, I don't want to, I'm trying to keep my integrity so I don't want to support the WTO or the FTAA mm -hmm. because that causes uh, a lot of suffering, you know, a lot of pollution, a lot of things that I don't want to support. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So within the ways of keeping your integrity, you know, and us making our decisions of what we want to uh, support and create and have open to us what we want to focus on, there has to be resistance. There has to be resistance. Well, you know, I don't want to walk that way. I don't want to. I really don't. What kind of resistance am I experiencing? <coughs> None. I'm just walking my own way. I'm not resisting, you know, and just going my own way. So, you don't have to go and shop at Walmart. You can allow anybody else to. <coughs> you see, there's a, there's a big cru crux right here. You've heard of Judgment Day? We're in Judgment Day. But there's two ways we can go through this. We can go and have judgments, or we can be discerning. You know what the difference is between discernment and judgment? If you're judging, it's because you're not able to allow something to go on. If you're using discernment, you can allow, but not choose, to participate. You can allow that to go on, you just choose not to participate. You don't resist it, you just do something different. That's discern. Judgment is, you can't do that, you're guilty, and we're going to make you pay for it. It's kind of like what Gandhi did in India. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Nonviolence. Yes, sir. Oh, I was just thinking about her question, and I think that what she's trying to say is that, <clears throat> are you saying that if you're opposed to something, you see something going on, you should just turn the other cheek and allow it and let it be? Yeah! Instead of trying to do something about it. Exactly. Because exactly what I'm really saying. Matters, right? Exactly. Now, like, you're going to see, we don't have to put up the resistance. There's going to be millions and millions of people willing to lay their lives down on the line to resist what's coming. They'll go ahead and do that. Allow them to do that. They're creating their own experience. You're not responsible for that. So if you take that to the extreme, it's almost like saying if you see a guy about to fall off a cliff, you shouldn't help him. Can you? You know, could you? But, but I mean, I, I wouldn't say, I mean, uh, no, I don't see that. Uh, if a person wants to jump off the cliff, I'll let them jump. Right. Yeah. But if they're falling, I, I think I try to help them. So where she's talking about the, the there's innocent victims of these words. No, there's not. There is not an innocent victim anywhere. There are no victims anywhere. There's only people who create themselves as victims. We're only creators. 
We just only create. And we create those circumstances. There are people in Iraq right now suffering greatly. Why? Because they didn't choose to leave. Or they chose to go there. We didn't. That's the difference. We're human, they're human. But they chose, we didn't. All those people who went in the military thinking they were going to go and defend democracy <laughs> or stay out of jail, some of them were doing that, or get a, a college pension. You now that's why they went. They made the choice. And they created that circumstance. It's the same with every one of us everywhere. Sorry, but there are no victims. And there's certainly no innocent victims. Well, okay, I, I'm just trying to get to the crux of this philosophy. So that mm -hmm. my, my question after that is, okay, but there's no innocent human victims. So let's take the slaughter that happens to the, to the animals in the ocean, the dolphins, the whales. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're saying that there's no point or... Uh, reason for resisting that, for going up and, and trying to, mm -hmm. to stop it from happening? No. There's no point in it? No point at all. Okay. Uh, first of all, everything, you know, that, that there has been a lot of change in the universe. On this planet, what we experience as the flora and fauna on this planet right now is 1% of what has been here and gone extinct. 99% of everything that's been created on this planet as life form has already gone extinct. So what's new? It's happening faster. That's all. Does that help you to solidify what he's saying? Well, you know, I don't know, you know, I, I think that, uh, I think that you know, you're right, we only have control over what we do. That's the reality of it, you know. Um, but I think that I learn from people who talk about these things. Mm -hmm. You know, I learn from people that go and do these things and go and try and uh, make an effort to make things right. <coughs> you know, and I learn in my own life, and I think that that's very valuable. You know, and, and that, that the actions of those people trying to keep things uh, healthy really does a lot. It's like dropping, throwing a pebble in the pond and that ripple going out and out. Sharing what you know is your duty. Mm -hmm. The ancestors, all of the ancestors, have passed forward <coughs> what they knew, including your DNA. Was that's a knowledge on a certain on this <coughs> on this consciousness of stimulus response. Your DNA is a knowledge, a, a library, a base that was passed forward. What you know is extremely important to pass on. But that doesn't mean you have to resist what other people are doing or participate in. Does that clarify that a little bit more? That's why I'm out here. I mean, if I didn't care, I, I wouldn't be traipsing all over and right. talking about what I know. Right. For, the, for not my benefit so well, yeah, it's my benefit. I don't want to be alone knowing this. You know, I'd like to have lots of people to share it with and, and, and grow from that. Yes? Yeah, I think an example of what you're trying to share is, would be like a company that's unethical, that takes advantage of other people, and people get upset about it, but instead of just sitting there and protesting or marching in front of that company's building every day, someone might choose to start a new company that does have ethics, that does care about how they exposed. Yeah. It's not a trend. That's yeah. the key is, is our intention. Our intentions flow from our attention. Mm -hmm. That's the way it works. So if we focus our attention on the negative, then... You get drawn right into it, yeah. yeah. But it goes back to integrity, too, because, like, if you feel really strong about something and in your heart you feel like you should participate in doing something to expose that company, I think you should just go around and do that. What you know <coughs> is important to share what you know. Um, doing active resistance <coughs> against things is not going to be healthy at all. 